So earlier today, Luma Touch released Luma Fusion version 2.2, and that comes with the highly anticipated FCP XML export capability, which is an in-app purchase. That allows you to export your Luma Fusion projects over to Final Cut Pro. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how the FCP XML export works here in LumaFusion 2.2. So you see I have a timeline, I already have some clips and things on that timeline. So now I'm just gonna play it back for a little bit just to show you guys what we have going on this timeline. So you can see I have some titles, I have some uh, photos, I have some transitions, there's that title there. And I have a photo as well with the faux Ken Burns effect. And you can do all this within LumaFusion, really just kind of thinking about the fact that we have an application like this available for the iPhone and the iPad is downright amazing. I'm still amazed to this day how powerful this application is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another transition between these two clips. So let's find one here. Let's do something a little different. Let's pull up a slide. How about a slide up? Just drag and drop between those two clips, just like that. And I'm gonna play it back. And there we go, there's our slide up. And as you can see, that's just one of several different things that I have on this timeline, including a music track as well, as you can see. All right, so got these two transitions here. That one didn't fire off that well. Probably need to make that a little bit longer, so that's what I'm gonna do here. So tap it and drag it out to make it a little bit longer. This is definitely a very, very rough cut. All right, so we have that other transition. And then we also have another title coming up. So you can see that and it fades in. I do have that key framed on the opacity. Now keep in mind throughout all this that Final Cut Pro 10 and LumaFusion are still two separate applications. So with that in mind, not everything is going to transfer over to Final Cut Pro on a one-to-one -one basis. Thankfully, LumaTouch has provided a reference guide to give you best practices and let you know what to expect when exporting your media over to Final Cut Pro 10. All right, so I think we're ready to go here. So let's go ahead and hit the share button. And now you'll see XML Project Package. Just tap that. And now I'm going to select Other Airdrop. And like I was saying earlier, some items in your project are not yet supported and must be recreated in Final Cut Pro 10. So use the reference guide to find out what items are supported and what items are not and will need to be recreated. Now you also have project settings. So you can export the full media that includes all media, not just the media in the timeline, or you can choose trim media, which includes just the media in the timeline, or no relinkable media, which just includes the necessary metadata. So we're gonna choose trimmed media because I want everything in the timeline to be included in the zip file that is created. So I'm gonna go ahead and just name this Jeff's Luma Project 2, tap done, and exporting. So it's writing the project. So you can see it's exporting every single clip that is on the timeline, just like that. We're gonna speed it up a little bit but again, this is just a really, really quick high level overview so I can show you guys how this works. Obviously there's a lot of different things to consider when exporting to Final Cut Pro 10. All right, so I'm gonna share it to my Mac Pro. Yeah, that's really quick. I think the actual size reading was a little higher than it actually is. All right, so the export looks to be complete. So now it's just a matter of heading over to our Mac and checking it out. So here is the file. This is just a zip file. Just open it up, unzip the folder, open the folder. And as you can see, all your clips from the timeline are there. There's even a couple of PNG files, and those are actually your titles, which are recreated as an image with an alpha channel. So let's go ahead and open up the XML file. It's gonna ask you what library you wanna import it to. So I'm gonna choose my LumaFusion backup library here. Just click choose. All right, so it imports it. So let's double click the project. And there we go, folks. This is the project that we just got through editing there on LumaFusion. I'm playing it back down. You see that title, it's not an actual Final Cut Pro 10 title, but it's that PNG with an alpha channel. 
But nonetheless, you can see that this thing is pretty close. It's not going to be perfect. For instance, you can see the audio configuration didn't have that channel muted there. So I had to do that manually. And obviously the titles are actually images. But nonetheless, I am impressed with how well even the, uh, the photo with the faux Ken Burns effect is going strong. And here we go. So let's see if this transition fires off. And it does. Very impressive. So you can see that timeline there coming up with the two additional transitions. So this one should be just a crossfade. And you can see how terrible my editing skills are there. There's a slide. Looks like we had a little glitch there. Maybe I just had a little bit of extra media in between those two clips that I forgot to remove. No big deal. You can see that other title. So I'm impressed. What do you guys think? I mean, this is just like literally just like five minutes of editing and exporting over to Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. So if you're doing some rough cuts, you just want to do a quick rough cut. And notice, even the keyframes for the audio fade that I did carried over just like that. And even the keyframes for opacity, you can see that they carried over as well. Let's open up the animation. You can see those keyframes there. Zoom in a little bit. Impressive. So you can see it fades in to this keyframe, stays steady, and then fades out to that last keyframe. So all that was done in LumaFusion, folks. This is impressive. Like, I can see this being very popular for those wanting to do a quick rough cut, just like maybe a conceptual cut on the iPad or on the iPhone. And then when you get home, you just export over to Final Cut Pro 10 and continue your edit. So like I said earlier, this title isn't actually a motion title. It's just an image, apparently. So we're going to right click and show in browser. Here it is. You can see that just basically an image featuring the white text with an alpha channel. So we'll just open that up. And there we go. So, I mean, simple, but it works, right? Um, so folks, this is LumaFusion version 2.2 with that highly anticipated FCP XML export capability, courtesy of that in-app purchase. Highly recommend this app, even if you don't or don't have any interest in exporting to Final Cut Pro 10, just if you want to edit on your iPad, there is no better application to do so than LumaFusion. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.